welcome. I'm Miss Sue, and I'm so glad you're joining me for Echo Junior. Remember, last Sunday was kind of sad. This one is lots nicer, happy. So let's start with our welcome song, shall we? Okay. Hello, hola, ni hao. I'm so glad you came. Hello, hola, ni hao. Please tell me your name. Hi, Silas, Eden. Ni hao, Raphael. There's Gavin and Mason. Oh, and I think I see Addison and Harper. And we have some new ones today, too. We have Levi and Felicity and William. And Noah and Isla are here again. And I think there's some others. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, and look, Miss Gail came to say hi, too. Oh, I'm so glad you're joining me today. Well, as I said, last week we ended on kind of a sad note. Remember, it was the saddest day there ever was? Today, Jesus is alive, and we're happy. Here we go. Early Sunday morning, before the light of day, an angel came from heaven and rolled the stone away. Later on, some women came and looked into the tomb, but Jesus wasn't in there. It was an empty room. Remember last week they put Jesus' body in the tomb and they put the stone in front of it? An angel came and rolled that stone away. See? It's not there. See? Wow, well, what's going to happen? The women told the others, He's gone. What will we do? So John and Peter ran to see if what they said was true. They didn't have believe those women. They saw the strips of cloth laying on the ground. But when they looked for Jesus, he was nowhere to be found. John and Peter went away, but Mary stayed and cried. Kneeling down beside the tomb, she took a look inside. Imagine her surprise when she looked inside the tomb and she saw two angels dressed in white sitting in the room. Look at those angels. Wouldn't you be surprised? Yeah. I want to know where Jesus is, Mary sobbed and said. But suddenly she heard a sound that made her turn her head. She thought it was the gardener, so she pleaded with the man. That means she really asked a lot. I want to know where Jesus is. Please tell me if you can. She can't figure out what happened to Jesus. Where did he go? But when the man said, Mary, she lifted up her head. This man was not the gardener. It's Jesus, Mary said. Jesus came alive again that happy Easter day. He bled and died, then rose again to take our sins away. Now, we have two things that I want to tell you about, okay? First, I'm going to talk to you about the craft that we're going to do. It's in your printables, and you're going to print this out. What I would like, if you can, either put your name here or a picture of yourself. So it says that Jesus died for Miss Sue, but he has risen. This way it would be Jesus died for you. And then, if you've got some finger paints, or some stamp pads, or maybe even some colored tissue paper. Color the cross all over with your thumb marks, okay? And now, ready to shake your wiggles out? Okay, get up, shake your wiggles out. Feel better? All right, let's sing our song. It's one you know, but I'm gonna show you some hand motions to go with it, okay? First, it's Jesus loves me. So, Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Okay, then we're going to do a second verse. Jesus loves me. He who died, put the cross up because that's what he died on. Heaven's gates to open wide. He washed my sins away, washed away my sin. Let his little child come in and hold out your hand like you're reaching for a friend. Okay, 
Shall we try it? I think you'll get it. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves us. The Bible tells me so. Here we go, second verse. Jesus loves me, he who died. Heaven's gates to open wide. He has washed away my sin. Let his little child come in. Happy Easter, everybody, and thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.